So today I'm going to talk about how to have good composition in your paintings. Right here is three paintings that I've done, and they're numbered in order from greatest to least as far as composition goes. Number one has great composition, and we're going to refer to that one later. Number two is pretty good composition, but there's some major errors that um, ruin the whole composition entirely. And number three has the least good composition. So I'm going to start with number three. The most obvious mistake in composition with number three is the lack of the rule of thirds. That's very important in composition to apply that rule of thirds so that the focus point of your painting is either on the one-third line or two-thirds line, but never in the center or totally to the edges. If this had been moved over, then it would have looked a lot better. There's also some other mistakes, such as the fact that the garden in the front goes all the way across the painting straight across. Generally you want it to flow with the composition. Now I'm going to talk about number two here. As you can see, the cabin is on a third, and so is the peak of the tree. The very highest point of the trees um, is on the third. But then there's one major error here, and it's the mountain. Um, if that mountain were moved over to behind the peak of the tree, the composition would be almost fixed perfectly. When using the rule of thirds, not only do you want to apply it, but you only want to apply it to one side. You only want one main focus point, and you can have a secondary focus point on your other third line, but it needs to be lesser, and that mountain is too bold to where it's almost even with the cabin, so it, it doesn't look like you really applied the rule of thirds at all because it's just the skyline is all the way across, and that generally does not look good at all. So if we move that mountain over to behind the cabin, it would look way better. The secondary focus point on the second line of thirds could be the bridge or maybe the the lowest point of the trees. But basically you want only one main focus point on your lines of thirds. The number one painting here has great composition all around. Notice how I did apply the rule of thirds. The sailboat's mast is right on the thirds line. That's the main focus point here. Um, and that's what we're gonna see first. There is a secondary focus point on the other thirds line, but it's the second sailboat, but it's much shorter and less obvious. So basically, we have our rule of thirds here, and we have a focus point on the main thirds line, and a secondary focus point on the second thirds line, but it's not near as obvious. Number one basically has all around great composition. Number two is good, except for it's, it has the rule of thirds, but it, the, it's both thirds have main focus points. You only want one thirds to have a bold focus point and a lesser focus point on the second third line. And number three lacks the rule of thirds altogether. These are some good points to think about when planning your painting. You want to think about the rule of thirds, but not just that. You want to think about your first line of thirds being greater and then your second line of thirds being less obvious. And that should help a lot with having a successful painting. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications so you know when I produced another video. Also, if you're interested in purchasing most of the art here I've displayed and lots more of my other art, please check out my website at jonathanslichterartist.com.